It's Western Conference NBA action, the Memphis Grizzlies here at home. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Well, guys, we know... Yeah, with that pump fake, he can get to the free throw line too, D.A. There's just no answer. Oh, right around this time of the season, Smitty, it's easy to lose focus. Talk about how players keep themselves motivated to bring it every night that to me would seem very difficult it is and i think you got to set those little small goals i think on one of our teams our goals was after the all-star break you can see we were starting to get into that funk and what we said was let's not lose two games in a row for the rest of the season those type of small goals keeps everybody engaged do you keep do you put the season in terms of of uh, every 20 games uh, every 10 games how how do you measure it to kind of pace yourself I think uh, most teams do it in a block of 20s. Like you said, um, you kind of go a block of 20s and see if you can go, you know, 75% in those games. And that's where you, you start to see the, the great teams, they do that. It's good to know. Now the starting group for the visitors. Ellis, that's good. Pass to Williams. Rebound by Agensa. Well, for Memphis, their last game a loss to the Magic. And they had a ton of missed opportunities at the foul line. That's always a game changer. Even if you do come away with the win, you've made it a lot harder than it should have been. But that night, they just couldn't overcome it. To the left side wing. Shot clock at five. And out of, out of bounds is Memphis gains possession. <laughs> first 130 gone here in the first quarter. Ellis outside. He feeds it to Ajinsa. Over Williams. And it's Ajinsa missing. Unfortunately for him, the defense is slow to react, but he couldn't make them pay. Guarded by Harris. Pass to Williams. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. A lot of laziness going on out there. Still early in the game, but that needs to get worked out. Now here's Ellis. Had a 24-point outing in their last game against Orlando. He was very active on defense, too, recording three steals for the game. Passes it to Williams. And easy two points on the layup. Williams has got his second basket of the night. Having a good, efficient start to this game offensively. Let's see if he can keep it going. The dish to Harris. Ajinsa with it. He's against Williams. Harris. And again, Memphis no good. You know, the offense has just looked out of sync. Only one of five from the field. First free throw is good. So he gets them both. Memphis trails by six. They need timeout, a bucket timeout. in a big way here to regain some confidence. Started. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. And, and this is what you got to do. I mean, if it ain't working, call timeout. Try to figure out what you can do to fix the problem. You know, also, it's just a chance to take a breath. Regroup, get your mindset, and come back out fresh.
Check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year, earning the first place position with a terrific record. And we've seen them perform splendidly pretty much all season long so far, and they're definitely the team to beat. And, of course, Memphis, six and a half games behind them. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. A three-pointer is right on target. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Here's Williams. Rebounded by Ellis. Memphis trails by three. Now the pass to Harris. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. A three doesn't go that time. He's guarded by Ellis. Ellis with some nice deep. And, and all the skill used on that crossover. Might want to save a little bit for the finish, unable to convert there. Ellis has gone one of three from the field here. Guarded by Harris. Kicks it to Williams. Five to shoot. It's three pointers off the mark. Memphis is gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And he hits it to tie the game up. He has six. He had such a sweet three-point stroke there. And it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the perimeter. To the paint. It's hauled in by Harris. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for Memphis. Not loose. Here's Williams. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. And that's up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when a steal triggers the break. Now here is Harris. No points in the game yet for him. Ellis right side. That's miss number three for him. Now two for five from the floor. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Playing big, willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the guy who towers over time him. Out, out. And did you see the separation he got? It's an art, Started. creating that kind of space. Now a timeout called by Memphis. There's a real art, isn't there, Steve, to drawing charges? Who are some of the best at doing that that you see now on a game-to-game -game basis? You know, DeMarcus Cousins stands out because he's a center. You're used to seeing centers block shots. Right. But he can get in position and take charges. Draymond Green loves to take charges. Mm. Uh, Kimball Walker does it from the point guard position. Marcus Smart, Patrick Beverly. Those are some of the names, and the list goes on and on. And those guys are tough guys, too. They have a toughness, grip factor about them. Yeah, you gotta have that, Kevin, if you're gonna bounce your head off the off the floor. ends up going with the new group. Let's bring up the 2K leaderboard to show you the teams leading the league in assists this season. And a team that shares the ball will create opportunities for the right player to score. Williams for three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Smooth shooting motion from distance. Williams making it look easy. to the wing right side tried to come right back with the three of his own but it's no good 
Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. He tries for three. Crawford with the rebound. Gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. We've got 148 left in the first quarter. Williams scanning the floor. Just five to shoot. Lets it go with a three. That's a miss, his second after two shots. Williams kicks to Thomas. Good, great play by Williams to set it up. Thomas got his first points of the night. Gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. One fifteen left to play in the first quarter. He's guarded by Williams. Outside Williams. Baseline jumper. That shot misses. And Memphis the other way now. Can't connect from short range. Shooting in this first quarter, around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. Second chance shot, and Crawford lays it up and in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. He's guarded by Williams. 29 seconds left in the first. Williams attacking. Basket counts. I have to respect how Lou plays. Wiry strong. No stranger to the plus one. Memphis shooting their first foul shot of the night. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line. Knocking down 80%. That's good from Williams. You look at the trajectory of Williams' career. Second round pick, started slow, but his game has aged like a fine wine. Pass to Crawford. And Thomas with the block. at the end of one quarter of play. Still a close game. Just a game. He feels that staying calm helps him succeed. Kevin? Thanks, D.A. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Well, we know, Steve, the GMs are in a tough uh, position in this NBA. Trying to win, obviously, is, is the number one desire. But they got to balance everyone's view of the landscape. Winning now as opposed to looking what's best for the future. And it's totally hard because we all understand what happens from, because you get penalized at the end of the year if you're not a team that's, you know, pretty much locked in the playoffs. You almost want to lose games to get a chance to have a better chance to get a higher draft pick. I think there's something that over the course of the next few seasons, this will be looked at very closely. Now let's take a moment to check out the Steel's news. Here's Williams. 20 points for him last game against San Antonio. And his defense was absolutely outstanding, especially his two blocks, which helped turn the game. And, you know, that's an example of how many plays we have in a game for which there's no stack. A monster dunk coming off just a terrific pick play. Greg, you're right. It really did work to perfection. Gave him all the room he needed for the flush. That's what happens when you get an excellent screen like that. He had plenty of space to slash right toward the basket. Six to shoot. Great touch on the 16-footer. Williams has got eight points. It really turned it around here 
in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. Harris outside. Thomas surveying the D. Memphis moving it around. And again, it's Memphis with a three. I mean, defensively, you have to close out harder than that. Gone five of six so far from the field in the second quarter. Pass to Williams. Second chance shot. It's rebounded by Memphis. In the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnovers. They wreaked havoc on the defensive end and really held the pace of the game in their favor for the entire game. Guarded by Harris, back to Williams. Over Thomas. Goes back up, and it's good on the way up. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Ellis outside. Sinks the triple. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. At the elbow, Williams. Over Thomas. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Ten points for Williams. No shortage of drama here early on. Yeah, eight lead changes already. Huge number this early. Harris kicks to Ellis. On the wing, Harris. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Shots good by Ellis. I love the confidence he's shooting with. Big improvement here in the second period. Gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Passes it to Williams. Out to the wing. Releases from 15. And it's in there. And this is what it's all about, guys. The competitive spirit. The energy that we're seeing. This one's got the feeling like it's going to go down to the wire. I'm loving this one. It's been back and forth, back and forth with these lead changes. It's probably going to just come down who has the ball last. And it goes down two points. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Gone 8 of 12 since the start of the second quarter. That's a really high percentage, hitting around 67%. Lays it up off the glass. He turned on the Jets. As soon as he got that screen, and went right to the hole. Great decision-making there. And it's Harris with the ball for Memphis. They trail by one. One fourteen left to play in the first half. Ellis left side. He misses it. He's four for seven from the floor. Being 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Guarded by Harris. And there's the pass to Williams. To the inside. And out of bounds is Memphis gains possession. And this is what the schedule looks like coming up for Memphis. On Friday. They'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the Denver Nuggets. And then on Saturday, they'll be matching up against Rudy Gobert and the Utah Jazz. And that game against the Suns, this is one where it would take a complete meltdown for them not to come away with the win. Anything can happen, but I'd be shocked if they don't come out on top. Mr. Dependable tonight, helping them grow this lead. He's guarded by Ellis. Kicks it to Williams. To the middle. Off with the layup. Memphis has gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. See, this is how you dictate the floor of the game. He's been lit this quarter. There's 18 seconds left now here in the second. He's guarded by Ellis. to Williams he 
It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This home crowd is elated about what they've seen so far. I'm Ernie Johnson. That's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Kenny Smith. Checking out Memphis. Kenny, some perspective, please. Well, they were consistent from downtown. The playmakers found open shooters, and the shooters delivered and knocked down shots on a high level. In some ways, it came down to confidence. We'll see if they have that same swagger in the second half. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. Well, I thought the one bright spot was the effort on the glass. Several times when momentum was sliding, getting a timely rebound really lifted them. Strong work on the glass is key because that's how you string together a series of big stops. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Memphis leading by four. Ellis kicks to Harris. Pass to Agenza. And no good that time. Excellent D there from Williams. Passes it to Walters. Six on the shot clock. Nobody near Williams. And for Memphis, they're shooting 47%, pretty solid. The pass to Ellis from deep three-point range, but they'll get another chance. And again, Memphis no good. A very disappointing start to this half. Three attempts with nothing to show for it. He's guarded by Ellis from deep. Williams, it's hauled in by Harris. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. And here's Ellis from beyond the arc. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his sixth rebound on the night. Off target right now. Four straight misses coming out of the half. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. That's the shot they were looking for. After three straight misses coming out of the break, let's see if that sparks a rally. Here's Harris. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Smitty, there are a lot of funny guys that play in pro sports, and the NBA is no exception now and in the past. Who would you say is the funniest guy you ever played with? Yeah, a couple guys, Kevin. There's some funny guys. I think one that stands out far as just being a straight comedian had guys laughing was Ken Norman. <laughs> and I think there's another guy that was extremely funny, but he wasn't trying to be funny was Dikembe Mutombo. <laughs> Some of the things that Dikembe would say and do, it was just hilarious. And he wasn't trying to be funny. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Some nice passing there by Memphis. And it's good for two. 16 points for Ellis. And they get one. Now, one of five here in the third. Outside, Williams. In the corner, it's Gordon. Good. The nice assist for Williams. Williams has got four assists now tonight. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail biter. Floats one. Rebound by Williams. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. A 
puts up a three. It's rebounded by Memphis. And here's the break. Ellis wide open. Trains the three-pointer. Ellis has got 19 points. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there may be more in store. Pass to Gordon. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Rebound by Agensa. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Ellis can't get it to go. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding you. You know, there's no shame in passing out in that situation. Leave your ego at the door. Guarded by Harris. Outside Williams. That three off the mark. Memphis has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Williams trying to break free, off with the layup. And on some plays, everything goes your way, except for the finish. No good from outside. Boy, this is rough on him. He wants to help out the team, which is playing well otherwise. But his shot just isn't there. Kicks it to Gordon. In a moment here to look at the numbers for Williams. Tenth and assist. And don't forget, top 20 in the league in rebounds per game. He's got a great nose for the ball. And his floor awareness is undeniable. As you pointed out, top 10 in assists. And he's great at drawing the defense and making the perfect pass in stride. The free throw drops for Gordon. Both teams will make substitutions. And Gordon drops them both. And for Memphis, they're shooting about 42% so far. The dish to Williams. Thomas passes to Williams. Shot clock at three. And another miss by Memphis. Pretty terrible here in the third quarter at around 30%. To the paint, here's Crawford. Boom, he jams it straight down. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Outside, Williams. Shoots from 12. And good that time. Williams has got the game tied up here for Memphis. He is so comfortable in this area, something Williams relies on, the mid-range. You know, there, there are certain players who just seem to have a knack for putting the ball in the basket. Lou Williams is in that category. Memphis has gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Off target at the rim. They've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react. And that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. And Lou Williams, not the biggest, not the most athletic, but Greggy finds ways to score. Yeah, you know, whether he's creating space or, or creating contact, very few play that cat and mouse game better than Lou Williams. So he gets them both. Memphis trailing here. 143 left in the third. I'm deep. He's off on that one. You know, a little off his game this quarter. Still trying to find a rhythm, though. Fires from the wing. And he overshot that one, missing. 
Not sure of the thought process on that one. Really bad shot selection. Well, you're playing for the team, not just yourself. They needed much better execution that trip down the floor. Memphis the rebound. Guarded by Crawford. Five on the clock. No good from the wing. Being 43% from the field. Let's the three fly. Good on the three-point shot. He's got 11. I'll tell you, even though he's a question mark from range, you still have to defend him. A slam dunk by Thomas. Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Really makes the basics look pretty exceptional. It's a close game here in Memphis. There's 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Got a piece of it. Stepped in the line, out of bounds there, and that will cost them the possession. Thing is leaving something to be desired, just 36% here in the third quarter. Pass to Crawford. He's guarded by Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot from the wing. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Let's it go from deep. No good. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. The away team, they're up by three. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the... Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate, and how about the setup this was? At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. So on the floor for Memphis. A shot, no good. And it's Memphis the other way. Coming down the stretch here, holding the lead. You like him to be more efficient offensively. That one good for two. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. For the game at 42%. Inside, Crawford. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Can't hit from the elbow. That's one he knows he should have drained. He's guarded by Thomas. It's rebounded by Memphis. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Outside Williams. No good. That would have tied it. Gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Inside. The putback. It's good on the putback. Timeout, timeout. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Now a timeout called by Memphis. The short rest, very important. And one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push.
got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, over that last break, I listened to Mike D'Antoni talk to his team. He told them we've got to make the most of every chance right now. This is a winnable game, but we've got to make plays. Guys, we'll see if they can come back. Ellis surveying the D. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Cool, cool, cool. You two players. And so it's Memphis with it. Harris outside. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. What a time for him to step up. Big three right there. That's what you have to do. Clutch shots, clutch shooters. They come through in those positions. He's guarded by Ellis. Outside Williams. Lock at six. Here's Walters. It's rebounded by Memphis. Ajins has got rebound number five here tonight to tie it up. And that one drops for him. And it's a tie ball game. Gone just 33% for the field in the fourth quarter. So far. they are two of six. Here's Williams. And he drops in the layup off the glass. On the attack, he has that ability. Trying to close this one out. Yeah, and the rim protection, not there. You expect someone to at least come over and contest. Down low, deflects the pass, and it's a Jensen missing. And you know they wanted that one to go down. They could have tied it up. That was a huge opportunity they missed. Bucket is good. It was clear that the defender wanted no part of that play after he exploded towards the bucket. Now here's Ellis. Defense is right there. There's the three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got 11 rebounds in the game. This is the guy who had three threes in the first half. Since then, still waiting on number four. From the arc. That shot missing. And it's Memphis the other way. To the inside. And he uses the glass on the way up. And you have to appreciate the aggression. Nice work inside gotten just under 45 percent of their attempts to drop in the fourth or of nine and he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit call time to just let them get their legs back under them now we get a chance to check out our jordan player of the game and as you'd expect he's done most of his damage in that low block. I mean, that was the game plan to get it to him in the paint and just let him go to work. And boy, has the big fella delivered. He has just killed them down low. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And the first one at the line is good. Both good from the line that time. Well, he's come through for them at the line today. And you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Rebounded by Ellis, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Ellis. He's guarded by Ellis. Outside Williams.
And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And the first one drops. That's good as he hits both of his shots. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Memphis has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Takes the 13-footer. They get it again. Here's Ajinsa. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Ajinsa's got the game tied up here for Memphis. Gone four of ten here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. At the elbow, Williams. Stolen by Ellis. Down low to take the lead. Can't capitalize inside. And 40% in the fourth. On the wing, Williams. Covered by Agensa. Basket good. Williams has got four this quarter. The beauty of the teardrop. Very difficult to really contest. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're trailing by two. 157 left in the fourth quarter. on top a minute 50 left in the fourth quarter that's down the hatch knocks one more to his total that's nine for 15 shooting gone five of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter passes it to Williams and the rejection by Ajinsa and it's going to be out of bounds and they retain possession There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. And the pass to Williams. To the middle. Here's Walters. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got five assists in the game. For Memphis, they've gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. I was with it. Pass to Harris. Shot clock at five to take the lead. That one doesn't go. And you just get the sense the whole period he's been a bit out of sync. Yep, trying to shoot himself back into this. Regain some confidence first. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall. There's a minute left to play in the final quarter. On the wing, Harris. Off the left rim and out. Yeah, another missed opportunity, and, and you can just see the frustration. He wants to help his team, but when you're in position to finish, it's hard to turn that down. Williams, a shot missing, and it's Memphis the other way. And, and whatever play they run has to be quick. And with time working against them, even if they make it, 
they need to foul right away. A chance here to possibly put it out of reach. This is when you really need to maintain your focus. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Big shots there. They are clearly in control of this game now. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're behind by six. 24 seconds left in the fourth. Twenty-four seconds left to play here in the fourth. It falls! And now they trail by just four. Nineteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Harris, right side, fires for three. He can't hit that time. And now we've got the intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. From deep three-point range, misses there. And so the road team gets the W in this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith.